You might be sabotaging your muscle growth every single night without even knowing it. Yeah, I said it. You could be training smart, eating clean, even tracking your macros to the gram and still waking up weaker than you should. Why? Because the vitamins you're taking, the ones that are supposed to help you recover, might be doing the opposite when taken at the wrong time. Think about it. Between 1000 p.m. and 2 a.m., your body goes into overdrive to rebuild. That's when growth hormone surges, testosterone kicks in, and muscle tissue starts to regenerate. But if you're swallowing the wrong supplements before bed, even ones labeled healthy, you could be blocking that entire process, not slowing it down. I mean, straight up stopping it in its tracks. And here's the kicker. It's not your fault. Most people were never told how muscle recovery actually works. They think the gains happen in the gym, but that's just where the damage starts. The real transformation happens at night in the quiet hours when your body's finally trying to repair what you broke, but you've got to give it the right tools at the right time or the system breaks down. You ever wake up sore, tired, even after eight hours of sleep, like your muscles never fully bounce back, that heavy, slow, drained feeling, not just physically, but mentally too. That's not just age catching up to you. That could be your body screaming for support and not getting it. What's wild is most people are this close to fixing it. They've got the supplements. They've got the willpower. They're showing up. But because no one ever told them that timing matters more than quantity, they're spinning their wheels night after night, stuck in a loop of stress, poor sleep, and half-baked recovery. But here's the flip side. When you do get it right, everything changes. We're talking deeper sleep, faster recovery, higher strength, and yes, visible muscle gains, especially if you're over 35. This isn't some trendy supplement stack or fitness gimmick. It's pure physiology. And when you align the right nutrients with your body's natural rhythms, the results feel almost unfair. If this is already hitting close to home, hit that subscribe button because what's coming next might just change the way you train forever. The hidden enemies, vitamins that work against you at night. Let's flip the script right away. Before we talk about what to take, let's talk about what to stop, because this might be the single biggest blind spot in your recovery plan. See, most people focus on what to add, more protein, more workouts, more supplements, but sometimes the smartest move you can make is cutting something out, especially if that healthy habit is quietly wrecking your sleep, your hormones, and your gains. Take vitamin B12, super common, found in multivitamins, B-complex blends, even energy drinks. And for good reason, B12 is crucial for energy production, nerve function, and red blood cell formation. But here's the part no one tells you. B12 is a stimulant. It fires up your nervous system, increases alertness, and ramps up ATP production. That's amazing. In the morning, at night, it's like downing an espresso and then wondering why you can't fall asleep. Even worse, B12 interferes with melatonin, the hormone your body needs to slip into deep muscle repairing sleep. So if you're taking B12 after dinner, thinking it's helping your recovery, you're actually turning off the switch that starts the healing process. You're keeping your body in go mode when it should be in rebuild mode. And then there's vitamin C. Everyone loves it. Immune system, skin health, collagen, right? But high doses of vitamin C at night come with side effects no one talks about. It acts as a diuretic, which means you're waking up for bathroom trips, breaking up your sleep cycle. It also reduces the mild oxidative stress that triggers muscle adaptation. In plain English, it can block the very signal that tells your muscles to grow. Worst of all, vitamin C enhances iron absorption, which competes with zinc. If you're taking zinc at night for recovery, which we'll get to later, 
and pairing it with vitamin C, you're canceling out the benefits. Total backfire. So here's the fix. Take B12 and vitamin C in the morning, split your C between breakfast and lunch. Take your B12 early, ideally in the methylcobalamin form. Give your body what it needs to power through the day, not disrupt the night. The truth is your nighttime recovery window is sacred. What you don't take is just as important as what you do. And cutting out these two culprits could be the first step toward finally waking up stronger, rested, and fully rebuilt. The silent powerhouse. Why zinc before bed changes? Everything. Zinc never gets the spotlight. And honestly, that's criminal because when it comes to muscle recovery, especially overnight, zinc is one of the few nutrients that can literally shift your results from meh to holy shy tea, I feel brand new. Most people only think of zinc for immunity or testosterone. That's true, but it barely scratches the surface. What nobody's talking about is how essential zinc is for turning the protein you eat into actual usable muscle tissue. Without it, your protein powder, your chicken breast, your perfect macros, they're not going where you want them to. Here's the catch though. Your body doesn't store zinc. You need a consistent supply, especially at night when your system kicks into full repair mode. And not just any zinc will do. Zinc pickle in it is the gold standard. It absorbs better, works faster, and doesn't mess with your stomach like other forms. Looking at you, zinc oxide. But there's more. Zinc is a direct player in over a 100 enzyme systems tied to muscle repair and hormone production. It helps your body release natural testosterone, not some weird artificial spike, but the healthy kind that helps you retain lean mass, recover faster, and feel more like yourself. Then there's the sleep angle. Zinc helps regulate neurotransmitters like GABA, which calm your nervous system and get you into deeper stages of sleep. Not just longer sleep, better sleep. The kind where your body can actually get things done like repairing muscle fibers, balancing hormones, and flushing out stress. Here's the common mistake though. People take zinc at the wrong time or with the wrong things. Zinc competes with calcium, iron, and copper for absorption. So if you're taking it with your multivitamin or with dairy or with dinner, you're probably not getting the full effect. That's why the best time to take zinc picolinate is 30 minutes before bed on an empty stomach. Start small, 15 to 30. Milligal is enough. Don't overdo it. More isn't better. Consistency is. And once you get into that rhythm, once your body starts absorbing and using zinc the right way, don't be surprised if your sleep gets deeper, your soreness fades faster, and your recovery finally catches up to your effort. The Recovery Duo D3 and K2, but only if you time it, right? Most people pop vitamin D in the morning and think they're winning. It's the sunshine vitamin, right? Yeah, but your body doesn't care what the label says. It cares about timing. And if you're taking vitamin D at the wrong time, you could be blocking the very recovery you're working so hard for. Let's break it down. Your muscles have vitamin D receptors, actual little doors that open up and let D3 in to do its job. But those doors aren't open all day. They're most active at night when your body is in recovery mode. So taking D3 in the morning, you're missing the window. And here's where most people really mess up. They take D3 alone, which is dangerous. Why? Because vitamin D boosts calcium absorption, but without a guide, that calcium can end up in your arteries, joints, or soft tissues, not where it's supposed to go. That's where vitamin K2 steps in. K2, especially in the MK7 form, acts like traffic control. It directs calcium into your bones and muscles. 
right where it's needed to support strength, structure, and recovery. Together, D3 and K2 form one of the most powerful nighttime stacks if you take them correctly. Here's what happens when you get it right. D3 helps regulate melatonin and boost testosterone production during the night, both essential for deep recovery. K2 ensures all that mobilized calcium doesn't get lost, but actually gets used to rebuild. You sleep deeper, your bones and muscles get stronger, and your morning fatigue starts to fade. The best time, take D3 and K2 with dinner, uh, especially a, a meal with some healthy fat, which helps absorption. Not too late, not too early. That sweet spot, two to three hours before bed, lines up perfectly with your body's hormonal rhythms. Tiny change, huge payoff. This is one of those tweaks that sounds too simple to matter until you try it. Then suddenly your sleep feels different. Your strength holds better. Your training finally starts to leave a mark. And it's all because you stopped fighting your own biology and started working with it. Magnesium glycinate, the foundation of nighttime recovery. This one's non-negotiable. Out of all the supplements you could take uh, before bed, magnesium glycinate is the foundation. And if it's missing from your routine, you're likely leaving. Serious recovery gains on the table every single night. Let's get one thing clear. Magnesium isn't optional. Your body needs it for over 300 enzyme reactions. And a massive chunk of those are tied directly to muscle contraction, relaxation, energy production, and yeah, protein synthesis. And here's the problem. Your magnesium levels naturally drop at night, right when your body needs it most. So if you're already low on magnesium, which most people over 35 are, your system struggles to shift into deep sleep, rebuild muscle tissue, or even produce enough ATP. Your body's internal energy currency, that's a triple threat to your gains. You'll feel it in the form of poor sleep, morning soreness, and slow recovery. It's subtle at first until it's not, but not all magnesium is created equal. The cheap stuff like magnesium oxide or citrate barely gets absorbed and often wrecks your gut. Magnesium glycinate, on the other hand, is smooth. It's bound to glycine, an amino acid that calms your nervous system and improves sleep depth on its own. That combination, it's next level. And glycine's not just a bonus, it's a muscle protector in its own right. It's the backbone of collagen, which supports your tendons, joints, and connective tissue. It also helps lower your core body temperature, a key signal that tells your brain it's time for deep, uninterrupted sleep, deeper sleep trucks, more growth hormone, more muscle. It's not hype, it's math. Studies show that correcting magnesium deficiency, especially with glycinate, can lead to noticeable improvements in recovery in just a few weeks. You sleep better, you wake up feeling fresher, your muscles feel less stiff, less tight, more alive. That's not a placebo. That's your body finally getting what it's been missing. If you've been waking up tired, even after a full night's sleep, magnesium glycinate might be the missing link. Take it 30 to 60 minutes before bed. Let it calm your system. Let it do its job. And don't be surprised when your body starts showing up stronger in the morning, no extra sets required. The overlooked accelerator, P, 5, P, and the muscle recovery connection. Here's the truth nobody talks about. Your body doesn't recover just because you sleep. It recovers because the right chemical switches flip during that sleep window. And one of the most powerful switches is something you probably never heard of, P5P, the active form of vitamin B6. Most people think of B6 as some generic energy or brain vitamin, but P5P, that's a different beast. It's the version of B6 your body can actually use without needing to convert it in the liver. And that one little upgrade makes a massive difference especially as you age, because here's the deal. The older you get, 
the harder it is for your body to convert regular B6 into P5P. So if you're taking standard B6, it might not be doing much. P5, P is critical for protein metabolism, meaning the process of turning the food you eat into actual muscle. It helps break down protein into amino acids and rebuild those into new muscle. Fibers, that's not an accessory function. That's the core engine of muscle repair. And guess when that engine runs hottest? At night, but there's more. P5P plays a direct role in the production of growth hormone, your body's natural recovery amplifier. Low P5P, low GH, period. And we're not talking about synthetic injections here. We're talking about your body's built-in system for regenerating muscle, burning fat, and waking up feeling strong instead of sluggish. And then there's the neurological side. P5P helps produce neurotransmitters like serotonin and GABA, which promote relaxation and help you fall asleep faster. But it also enhances REM sleep, the phase where your brain locks in muscle memory and motor learning. So your muscles are growing during deep sleep, but your performance and coordination that's being sharpened in REM. One more thing. P5, P supports the production of carnosine, a compound that buffers acid in your muscles. That means less fatigue, less burn, better endurance. If you've ever felt like you gas out too early or can't push through the last few reps, low B6 could be the silent cause. The move, take 25 to 50 millism of P5P with your nighttime magnesium. They work together. Magnesium helps B6 activate and B6 helps magnesium enter your cells. That synergy creates a recovery environment that's hard to beat and nearly impossible to replicate with anything else. If you've hit a plateau, if soreness sticks around too long, if your sleep is just okay, but never restorative, this might be the shift that flips everything. You know what the real problem is? It's not that people aren't trying. It's that no one ever told them the truth about recovery, about how muscle isn't built in the gym. It's built when everything goes quiet, when the lights go out, when your body finally has a chance to repair what you broke during the day. But here's the thing. You can't rebuild with broken tools. And for most people, that's exactly what's happening. They're eating right, training hard, showing up with discipline, but their recovery window is being sabotaged by the smallest details. Details like the wrong vitamin at the wrong time. Details like missing one key mineral that throws off the whole system. It's frustrating, isn't it? Doing all the right things and still waking up tired, sore, or stuck. Feeling like your body's not responding the way it used to. Like the needle just won't move anymore, no matter how hard you push. But now, now, you know, you've got the information you've got the protocol, and more importantly, you've got a starting point. Because the truth is, you don't need to flip your life upside down to make progress. You don't need to chase the next perfect workout or stress over your macros every second. You just need to stop interfering with your body's natural ability to heal. You need to stop blocking the recovery that's been trying to happen every single night. When you time your nutrients right, when you stop feeding your body what it can't use and start giving it what it's starving for, things change fast. You'll feel it in your sleep, in your joints, in how your muscles hold tension, in how you bounce back after a hard session. And for the first time in a long time, you'll wake up and realize you're moving forward again. That's the goal, not perfection, progress. One night at a time, one smart decision at a time. And if this video helped flip that switch for you, even just a little, what's the one thing you're changing in your training after this? Drop it in the comments, I wanna hear it. If this video gave you at least one aha moment, drop a like, hit subscribe, and let's keep building this 